Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make sample-based Dutch house music or uh, dirty Dutch house music, however you want to call it. But basically, uh, it's the type of music that has the really squeaky synths in it or a little pitch-bendy vocals. Um, I hear this music in clubs all over the country, raves, um, house parties. This music's really popular, at least in the USA, and I'm sure over in Europe as well, although I haven't been there in a while. Um, so uh, let's start it off. This is going to be a very simple tutorial on how to make sample-based dirty Dutch music. And what I mean by sample-based is I mean that I'm not actually going to be using any synthesizers for this. I'm going to be only opening samples within one of the, my favorite samplers in Reason and uh, laying down the synth pattern. Um, I'll probably also make a tutorial later on on how to make a more synthesized version of Dutch House music. But I have a lot more fun using samples, actually, even though you do get a little bit less control. Uh, so what I want you to do if you are using Reason uh, is right click on your project and open an NNXT um, sampler. Now you can do this in other programs but you're just gonna have to have a sampler that can do as much as the NNXT and I don't know if that exists in Ableton or Logic but I'm sure it does. So on this NNXT click the on the left hand side the little triangle that is uh, on the bottom left so you get the drop down of your full NNXT and we're gonna go over to the load sample button um, and this is where we're gonna put in our synth sample so I'm opening it up and it already brought me to all my synth samples within this pack so let me tell you a little bit about where to get some good synth samples if you don't have any uh, I always recommend for my drum samples the vengeance packs and I do also recommend vengeance for synth samples as well um, I'm for this tutorial or for this song actually the clip that I played at the beginning I used uh, the Vengeance Essential Clubhouse 3 uh, synths um, I have also recommended that same pack the Clubhouse 3 pack uh, for the drums because they're my favorite drums but they also have if you see this synth down here and it has over it has 240 synth samples which is just way more than you need and a lot of them can be used for Dutch actually um, I have a bunch of Vengeance packs, and most of them have synths in them, and the synths are really, really fun to mess with. So, for this song, I used the 77th, yes, there it is, the synth 77. And it should sound like this when you just open it up in the NNXT. Which does not sound very cool. Um, but as you can hear it, it's a little vocally sounding, uh, kind of like Pond the Floor or uh, some other Dutch tracks you may have heard. So the first thing you're going to do is after you open up the sample of your choice, you are going to head over to the left side to the portamento, and you're going to add some portamento, or in other programs it may be called glide, and you are going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up to about 58. Now take a listen to what it does. So that was kind of just a jumble of me messing around my keyboard, but as you can hear, it's actually gliding the notes between the samples, uh, which is pretty cool, because that means if you use vocal samples or synths, you're going to actually get that same glide effect as you do in a synthesizer, but you are using samples. So <clears throat> basically, all I have to say about creating a good Dutch line is stay really simple. I used two notes for that for that line in that song. Um, stay simple and just hit two different notes so you get that gliding, or two, at least two notes, if not more. Uh, you can also use the pitch wheel to create some cool glides if you want to do it by hand. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the synth. Let me show you some other cool synths inside this pack. You'll see how there's a lot of these synths are sort of dutchy. So as you can hear, there's a lot of cool sounds there. I mean, that's not good quality because you're getting it right out of my computer speakers right there. Um, but there's great synths inside here. So if you want to beef this synth up a little bit, or this sample, I should say, a little bit, I would just right-click on it and add a simple create. Go to your create menu and add a simple RV7 digital reverb. And I would take the dry wet, bring it down to around 8 to 16. I would bring the decay and bring it down to 26. And I would bring the size down to about 42. 
So now take a listen. Oh no, actually let's bring the size up a little bit to about 32. So now take a listen. Actually that's not the synth I wanted to show you guys. Here's the original synth. I don't know if you can hear it through my computer speakers, but there's it just gives it a roomier feel. So definitely add that reverb, that little bit of reverb. You can use the normal hall setting onto your um, samples. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Just really remember, stay simple, add the reverb, and add the portamento, and you got yourself some dirty, dirty Dutch music. Um, I will be making that other Dutch tutorial very soon, so keep your eyes out for that, and I hope everybody has a great night or day.